guide, in this video, we're going to look at mysportsfeeds.com. This is an introduction to uh, maybe like a series of videos that I'll be doing. I'll do at least one more. And mysportsfeeds.com combined with Tasker, some JavaScript, and also auto tools can get you information like this on your Android device. The Dallas Stars is a hockey team. This is a request I got from a user. They wanted to get their outcomes from the games they've played so far. And notice we have a nice uh, table format here, and this is using the auto tools web screen. So uh, outcomes from the Dallas Stars so far this season. Also, what we can do is we can get upcoming games. This not only works for NHL, it works for NBA, NFL, and Major League Baseball as well. But this is the Dallas Stars upcoming games. And what it's doing is we're letting Tasker pull all this information from an XML file using the My Sports Feeds API. And these two that I've showed you so far will change as Dallas plays more games and their schedule changes. Um, the upcoming games, you know, this one here, the next game that's upcoming is on the fourth. Once they play that, this one's gonna be gone and we're actually gonna see the outcome pop up on this table here. So these are uh, dynamically changing tables that we have going on here. Also, like I said, other sports, NFL, this is the next three days. We can parameterize a lot of our searches uh, in the API to narrow down our search results. So I had the next three days worth of games in the NFL. I also have uh, the Houston Astros. This was their road to the Major League Baseball World Series uh, back from the beginning of the playoffs all the way up into the last game. I did notice the last game did not show, and that last game was a few days ago. So that has not been updated, but still, it's every other game during the playoffs there. And then also, we can get individual team stats, player stats, whatever we want. Here's just a, one example using NBA player stats, but this works for your other sports as well, where I'm pulling just Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, and LeBron James. They're 2.3 point free throw percentages so far this season, and their average points per game. So for some of you fantasy sport fans, this could be very useful as well. Or if you're just a sports fanatic, this is a great P or great tool to have, mysportsfeeds.com, their API. So how does the API work? Uh, what you can go ahead and do, you can get free access uh, or you can donate like a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, four dollars, five dollars per month, and you can get live data. So for a dollar or more per month, you can get live data with a 10 minute delay all the way up to real time data for $50 or more per month. But just for a buck a month, you can get all of this stuff, NBA, NFL, NHL, and Major League Baseball um, with a 10-minute delay. Who cares about 10 minutes, especially if we're just kind of, you know, messing around and having something cool on our device. That's really what it's about for me, at least. And I want to share this stuff with you all. So, you know, this is non-commercial use. Now, I know they have even higher prices, but don't be alarmed by these prices here. Uh, I, think this is, I think that is for commercial use. But if you're just, you know, goofing off, uh, working on a cool app concept, or performing research or whatever, you can get the free access. But I think that only deals with completed seasons. I'm not 100% sure on that. So what you can go ahead and do is give them a buck or two a month, get some 10-minute delays, support the developer on that end, and then uh, you can have all the sports information you could possibly want, right? So with all of that said, some of you may just need a push in the right direction on getting this stuff to work correctly. So this is not a full-fledged tutorial. I'm just showing you the power of my sports feed combined with Tasker and Auto Tools to get this stuff to show up. I do have all of these text files with the individual, uh, for example, I had one of them showing just a moment ago, but the Dallas Stars outcomes, this is the HTTP Git that I'm using um, in Tasker. If you're not familiar with that, then hang out for the next tutorial. But some of you have who have been keeping up with my uh, tutorials for a while. You've seen me use HTTP Git inside of Tasker. The only thing you want to be careful with here is use your uh, My Sports Feeds username and password separated by a colon here to actually access that XML file. Then inside of the JavaScript in Tasker, again, if you're not familiar with this, uh, but this is the code. Now, I do plan on going over and one of these examples in more detail, but there's the code that you need. And how can you get all this stuff? Go to any of my videos, click on the KOWP free stuff, and then inside of that folder, look for the My Sports Feeds JavaScripts, and there's each individual text file. But basically what it boils down to is, is I'm looking at an XML file. Uh, here's an example. I know it looks crazy, and this is actually minimized. 
Um, I'm searching through it and I'm trying, in this case, for the outcomes, that table I showed you earlier, I want the away team, the home team, the outcome, uh, the team score, which is Dallas in this case, the other team score and the date that it happened on. And that outcome is where it was showing a win or a loss. These are going to be arrays, you know, list. This is going to be a list of away teams, a list of home teams. The for loop that we have here is actually what's going to build the or each array. And then what I haven't showed you here and what I will show you in a future tutorial is how I'm using auto tools to create the table based off these arrays. Now, I'm sure there's faster ways of doing this. I'm not a JavaScript expert, but this is what works for me. And again, I do want to pull, and I think it's probably worthwhile to pull individual arrays. That way we can arrange these on this table in the way that we want using auto tools. More on that later, but in the meantime, I hope I did show you, for those of you who are sports fans, I hope you do see how valuable this could be in terms of just uh, having quick access to information while you're out and about. You wanna get some quick stats on something. Uh, you know, boom. So go ahead and create the account. I'm going to uh, work on a, another part to this tutorial or this series where we'll actually go through one of these step by step. And if, if you're going to load up these text files, you'll notice that I'm using different parameters like here. Um, this is how I'm getting just the Dallas team instead of getting every single NHL team. And then if I want the NBA player stats, that's this one here. So you'll notice here I'm getting a different, I'm pulling NBA stuff, obviously. But here I got a little comma separated list of the players that I wanted to pull. I could easily add another player in here with the comma. And all of that stuff is discussed over at mysportsfeeds.com, the API documentation. And then inside of here is where you can actually learn a little bit more about whatever feed you want, uh, what type of information do you want, and then the various parameters that we can tack on to this URL to get the information that we need. So again, a quick overview showing you the power of the My Sports Feeds API in conjunction with your Android device to get tons of sports information. More tutorials or a more thorough tutorial will be coming soon. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.